Welcome back, everybody, on this lovely Friday. It's Black Friday after Thanksgiving. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. Nice to see everyone's here bright and early. Wow, I'm very impressed. Look at that. A lot of guys, uh, a lot of you didn't go away, or maybe you're on vacation and taking logging in, but that's great to see you all here. Good to see you, Deb. Good to see you, John. HD, Tim, good to see you. Terrell. Mariano, good to see you. Greg, look at all those great people, look great traders. Well, welcome back, everybody. Hopefully, everybody's all hung over from that, all that turkey. Um, I don't know what you guys did for Thanksgiving, but uh, I went to my nephew's house, uh, my, niece's, uh, my niece's house, actually, and her husband's a big smoker, loves to smoke meat, and uh, had two smoked turkeys. I don't know which one was better, one it was just, which is a great meal. And uh, we had some great conversations. Everyone was talking about, you know, uh, about the market, what's going on. Everyone's getting a little nervous. <laughs> and it was just fun just to sit in there and just having a good time. And hopefully everybody had to, had the same type of conversations and had a great time to meet with family. Now it's time to go back to work and have some fun. All right. So uh, I can't believe it. it it's, we're almost less than uh, 2018 is almost over. That's it. Once after Thanksgiving's here, I mean, it's going to fly. So... Just give you guys a little heads up on what's going to be happening going into the next month of December, finishing up on the Black Friday, uh, you know, the day after Thanksgiving. Well, things are going to get a little busy, I think, as of right now. Um, I mean, you see the market's taking, a, uh, taking another hit again. We had a nice little comeback on Friday, but I think it's just a little smoke and mirrors. A lot of it has to do with oil. Oil is getting crushed, crushed. And all, all, all I could say is look forward to getting cheap gas. So, you know, listen, every, I keep saying, and it doesn't always sound the greatest, but other people's catastrophes are other people's opportunities. So when you're seeing oil get crushed and, and people, you know, oil companies, you know, you're like, you listen, they're losing a lot of money. But for you, it's like, yeah, well, it's helping me. It's an opportunity. So, um, you know, just uh, keep it. Let's keep an eye on that. But oil, I tell you, I remember it was down to what thirty five dollars, uh, forty five dollars. Where are we at fifty one now? We're down like three dollars a day almost. So oil is looking pretty, uh, pretty good for us on on that on that aspect, which is leading to all these ETFs. Now, before I start talking about what ETFs are moving, let's uh, let's have some fun and talk about regarding about what happened on for on on Friday on Wednesday. Uh, first of all, the ABL, uh, the ABIL, holy cow, what a huge, huge winner, okay? You know, listen, I, I'm not making this stuff up. I tell you guys, you know, we're always going to find, you know, a 100%, 200% mover, you know, sometimes a 500% mover. We get a prob probably about two or three a month, maybe four a month, maybe one a week. You know, forget about the 10, 20, 50%. I'm talking about... 300, 400% winners. People can't even make 5% a year. Well, here was a great winner that we had. A lot of you guys did great on it. It went all the way up. Um, listen, us great traders, you know that you don't buy at three and sell it at eight. But you know what? You know a lot of you got it at four. You sold it at five. Some of you got it at six. You sold it at 650. Everybody should have made money on this stock. Um, you could have chased it wherever you want. And if you didn't, you should have did what I always say, one share trade. So that it now look where it ends up. Worse than where it started at. So, listen, a lot of you try want to know, and I know there's a lot of YouTube YouTubers watching this too, and our Facebook, and like, okay, so why is it back at 350? I, I, you think I care? Talk to me on Wednesday, okay? Don't talk to me about today. But I do want to tell you is this is why you can't hold these positions. And we all know what it could be. It could be a short squeeze. It could be anything. But you could see how that stock did what it did. But it was a uh, pr pretty, pretty, uh, pretty fun stock. A lot of you guys did great. Hopefully, you find another one today. Uh, GME was another one. Hold on, let me bring that up. Typed in the wrong window. GME was pretty cool because it got halted um, in the afternoon. Off news, reopened. It was pretty volatile, but you could see how it was shot right up and went up, up, down. But it was pretty volatile. Stock went from twelve sixty to about fourteen forty. We know, you know, we guys love to trade stocks that get halted, but. This obviously trade on news, a little bit different than what we usually trade, but that was pretty good. A lot of you guys did pretty well on that one. And the CRC was also a nice little trade. Uh, CRC made a little bit of a comeback. You can see it went from 21s all the way to 25. Why did it go up? Well, look where it is today. That's why you can't go broke taking profits, but that was a, that was a good winner for a lot of us on the Wednesday. Now, what's going on this morning uh, regarding what's moving? Listen, 
There's a lot of stocks that are moving um, this morning, and specifically the ETFs. The ETFs are moving. Uh, ABIL, Ron says ABIL, uh, 10 million shares at 325. You know, well, listen, the we'll keep an eye on the ABIL. I mean, it's definitely going to be on my watch list. But the stock that we all should have been in this morning was this one right here, the TIS. Now, I don't, listen, at 8 o'clock this morning, if you got in here at 8 o'clock where most of you logged in, I'm seeing you guys starting to stroll in right now. Everybody here should have got this stock somewhere around a buck seventy, buck eighty. Listen, if you cha- if you if you were smart, you got here at, at a, right at the open, you got it at a buck sixty. You did great, but uh, right now, I mean, I'll tell you the truth, I'm pretty much done for the day. This stock right here, I could probably go back to sleep, you know, like Andrea said earlier. But the TSI was basically the winner. You, you know, guys, my my uh, my most of my winners is really all pre market. Uh, make your days pay, and that's it. Uh oh, Andre says I was trading. I was probably trading from my bed. Nah, I don't think my wife would have liked me screaming right now in this meeting. But but I I, I I'm actually up around like six thirty, so I'm I'm scanning the market for you guys, nice and bright and early. But this stock was the one that right on Wednesday had a really big pop for about eighty cents, went to about a buck eighty. But um, but this stock was a pretty easy, knowing it was going to hit a brick wall at two. 275. You had the big iceberg orders. You could see it right here on the offer on the matrix, and it was pretty. It was, and you could see it there on the long term. That's why I had a tough time breaking right there. But that one was really that's going to be on our watch uh, on our watch list, guys. Um, another one that's in in the news is Overstock. Remember Overstock? Wasn't this one of the stocks that had a lot to do with cryptocurrency? Right, stock went from 20 all the way to 80. Look where it ended up. I think some of you just mentioned they're going to be selling off their retail division or something like that. But um, is it really going anywhere? Listen, we know Overstock is a pretty damn volatile stock. Now, listen, there is just so many stocks I could put in right now. But at the end of the day, I just want to, I just want to tell you, I have never um, traded ETFs as much as we would trade the last couple of days. But listen, the ETFs are just going bonkers. Um, DWT, that stock's making a big move right there. DRIP. I mean, a lot of them have to do with oil stocks. You know, you can see the gas stocks right here. That one's another ETF moving pretty big. SCO, another one. I did the wrong window. Actually, that's a different one. That's not an ETF, but that one's moving also. Um, OILU, getting crushed right there. 75 down to 25. UWT. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. I can just keep going uh, constantly. You know what, Benito? I saw the uh, I saw that the uh, Dana the shipping stock uh, did show up. That one also is moving pr- uh, pretty interesting too. But be careful. I mean, those shipping stocks. <laughs> we've been trading them so oftenly that they're just like they 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 sucker you in. If you're going to trade them, you got to take the money and run really quickly when it comes to those stocks. But um, but listen, all the ETFs are moving, and you know I'm not a big fan of them for several reasons. First of all, you have to be an advanced trader. You got to be higher than a level two cyber trader uh, to trade those stocks. They're really, really volatile. Just because you think they have a decent spread, they do move, and they do some nasty, nasty shakes. Everybody's trading them. So you got to be maybe even a three category to trade them. But if you want to trade them, I just always tell everybody, just trade a hell of a lot of shares. And just sit back and learn. And, you know, there's no better way to learn than to be in a position and just see what happens. And just as long as you do your journals that you were taught to do, go from there. But that's really much what looks what's going on. Now, remember today, guys, today is um, Friday, uh, the day after Thanksgiving. So it is the market does close early at one o'clock. So I think you're going to see a lot of action. Listen, we didn't see that much on Wednesday. Uh, in the pre-market, I thought it was dead, but that ABIL just made for it. So we always find something that's going to move um, right when the market opens up. As of right now, it just looks like the ETFs are moving. And I had that TIS, and that was pretty much it. And uh, we'll keep an eye on oil. But uh, but listen, swing trading, guys, be very careful going long. If you're long, you're wrong. You know, don't be fooled on these little um, these little shakes right here that we're getting. <clears throat> you know, there are a lot of, you know, listen, I know the economy's doing great, everything else, but... Uh, I told you after the elections, a lot of traders, you know, like I said, they're really concerned what's going to happen when uh, when Congress changes in January. So, 
and, and not only that, a lot of people are looking to take profits because they want to have those really, really, really nice good bonuses going into uh, this year. And that was another, you know, which I always see why they have, we have October crashes. But uh, we'll keep a close eye on it. That's why we love day trading, right, everyone? Now, before we go, last thing. Um, we all know what today is. Today is Black Friday. And here at Cybertrain University, once a year, you know, you can get the greatest deals at Cybertrain University. Uh, you could, a lot of you always sign up for the one-year access cyber group room. You get a big discount there. Uh, the bronze course for some of you beginner people that still contemplating if you want something, uh, you just want to test the waters. Great, great situation. One-on-one -on -one coaching is right now our number one seller. Uh, everybody loves the coaching um, here at Cybertrain University. The only thing I can recommend to you, if you really want to do the coaching, and um, just make sure you call in quick and, and get those good hours because uh, we are, you know, we do pick up, we do book up quickly in in the most at the best times of the market. So um, go out there and make sure you do that. And then don't forget our famous summit, Trader Summit, uh, back in 2019. You got a little discount there. So not, not you know, listen, we don't give you a lot, but um, but go out there and uh, go out and uh, spend some uh, spend some time, do some coaching. You know, that's pretty much the way to go for a lot of us. And then, like everyone else, you know, if you want to, you like being in his cyber group room. Do your um, sign up for the year. It's always been great. All right, guys. In the meantime, uh, good luck, everyone. Happy trading. If I don't see you going to this close, I wish you the best. We'll be doing a, uh, obviously not a 2.30 meeting, but we will do a, cl uh, uh, a close at 1 o'clock, uh, a recap, and then if I, and go out there and, and just go enjoy the, uh, the Black Friday deals. All right, guys? Go out there and spend some money. You guys did good this year. And then I'll see you back on Monday. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.